everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome to a new unboxing video and thank you so much for requesting this. I was not going to film this at all but I had so many of you guys jump on socials and say that you wanted to see me unbox this and talk about it a little bit more and yeah, so that's exactly why I'm here. So today in this video we're going to be unboxing the new iPhone Max. So this is the 12 Pro Max, this is the one that's launched today. I actually had quite an unusual kind of experience in purchasing this um, because my order actually said right up until the last minute that it wasn't going to be arriving until the 23rd of November and then this morning when I logged on at midnight it changed last night to being delivered today so here we are I'm very excited I actually ordered this for my birthday so a lot of you will be asking me why I have decided to upgrade so I actually have an iPhone I actually have the iPhone 10 XS Max so this is the larger site version of the 10 it's their like pro premium version um, and the reason I got this one was for the camera exactly the same reason why I've upgraded I'm getting a better camera because I do YouTube because I do filming because I do Instagram um, the camera for me is the biggest draw and the fact that you can film in Dolby on this camera is there I'm also going to take you through in this video a couple of accessories that I've picked up and we might even do a few comparison shots of like pictures and stuff in low light because as we know it's winter and trying to take pictures of beauty products in low light is a nightmare so I'm really excited for that. Okay so I've just had my phone delivered, um, it came in a brown box, I've not opened it at all yet. Um, it came from DPD and I have a really great uh, relationship with my DPD driver, he's so nice, his name's Steve um, and he is just fab so I'm really really grateful. He said that he's been delivering quite a few of these today and he knew exactly what it was before I even opened it so yeah let's open it up. Okay so here we go. Oh. Oh, is that it? I expected there to be way more in this box, but no, no, it's just the phone. Okay, so here we have the packaging. So I went for the gold version. So this is the iPhone 12 Max Gold. It's 128 gig um, in comparison to my iPhone 10XS Max, which is 64 gig. So this is double the capacity of my old phone, which is going to be insane I've never used more than probably about 30 gigs on my phone so this is going to be a beast I cannot wait to open this up I'm just going to give you a little bit of a moment there with the with the peely this feels so premium in comparison to their past boxes the quality is definitely better than it has been in the past. It's absolutely stunning. So inside it's just white. There is a cutout for where the camera lens fits. Um, but the box itself feels really luxe. So inside you'd have the phone. Here we go. Really beautiful. Um, and then you've got the cable. So that is the USB type C cable and then you've got the kind of like quick start pack with the sticker and I think it's got in here the little tool to take out your SIM card and the Apple sticker. So on the outside of the iPhone Edge you do have a gold stainless steel finish. Um, this is very fingerprinty but it actually feels cold to touch which I just didn't even expect. It feels really tactile and it feels like a really expensive piece of kit. I'm very excited for this. The glass on the back of the rose gold finish has this gorgeous kind of pearlescent sheen luster to it. It's almost like a smoked glass. It's very very beautiful. Really really lovely. Okay. So this has a removable peel again, so we're going to take this off. Oh my gosh, okay. How stunning is that screen? 
Okay, so in my hands, I've basically got my two iPhones. So this is the iPhone 10XS Max, and then this is the 12 Pro Max. Now, definitely weight comparison, the 12 Pro Max feels so much heavier. It also feels so much more luxe. Um, it definitely has a more premium build quality to it. This feels very plasticky in comparison, um, but honestly, I cannot wait to turn this on and see what it's like. So I'm just gonna turn it on, let it do its thing for a couple of minutes, and then then while we're waiting, I'm going to show you some accessories that I picked up. So whenever I get a new iPhone, I always buy my new case from a company called Coconut Lane. Coconut Lane is a UK based company. They're a small indie brand and they have a beautiful array of accessories for Apple products. They also do things like face masks, they do um, notebooks, cushions, um, all sorts of like lifestyle products, um, jumpers, sweatshirts, that kind of stuff. Um, I really do love them. I'm a massive, massive fan. I am affiliated with them, so you do get a discount, um, which I'm gonna pop in the drop box below. If you wanna go and check them out and grab yourself some of your own accessories, um, go ahead and do so, but I'm gonna show you what I got. So the wonderful thing about Coconut Lane is all their accessories do tend to match, and when a new accessory launches, they release everything in that collection. So last year, I was really fortunate in, in bought myself a Apple watch um, I actually selected the colors and things myself so I got the green strap with the gold bevel really really pretty I do love this combo it's very kind of like summery I love that green khaki color and coconut lane have actually released a few pieces in a green khaki color for the new season now with my old phone I did have another coconut lane case this is one of the other ones that they do and I had a coconut coconut lane um, ring on here but I didn't really get on with this so I very rarely use this case um, but I did really love how thick and sturdy it was it's really really fab um, really nice case but I went this time for their one of their hard cases you can see Ziggy on the back I'll tell you about that in a minute um, but yeah I went for one of their hard cases so in the case you've got like a rubber insert that comes out and then you have a green like khaki coloured um, kind of like leopard or cheetah print on here which is really nice I love this I actually got matching face masks from their website um, their face masks are really really good they have a kind of like um, really kind of strong nose piece that kind of goes around the nose and um, it's all adjustable around the ears as well and they fit really nicely um, really really lovely and it's two ply and then you've got the bit inside where you can put like a filter if you want to um, but yeah I love these they're really nice so I picked up matching face masks to go with my matching case um, and then of course I've got my Apple watch that has the green on it as well so I feel like it really coordinates really nicely now I do really love having a pop socket personally for me because I've got quite small hands I definitely need something to allow me to hold my phone if I'm taking pictures or filming. Um, it's just a complete necessity for me because otherwise I would just be all fingers and thumbs and I would just drop it. So for me, this is like a bit of extra added security. I love that you can go onto the PopSocket website and you can actually have like your own pictures um, put on your PopSocket. So I just had one of Ziggy done that he is it's my pussycat um so he is always with me he was on my last pop socket that I had on my old phone the other thing I love about pop sockets is that you can actually get um things that go on tripods that your pop sockets fit into so you literally can then you don't have to have like an extra tripod for your iphone mine just actually just slots onto my existing tripod with a different accessory that's like always stuck on here so yeah it's really easy to use um really really fab and they're just so handy i do love having a pop socket so i'm going to put all the links to the details of everything that i'm going to show you in this video in the drop box below um but yeah it's just a really nice case and pop socket so again here is a video of ziggy ziggy is having a little nap as you can see on the iPhone 12X Max, it looks really dark and dull, but the iPhone, new iPhone is a lot brighter and you can really see a lot more detail and it just picks up so beautifully. Are you okay there, Ziggy? <laughs> um, 
But yeah, really, really lovely. I am so impressed with the filming quality. It looks fabulous. So here we have, so here we have another great comparison. So I'm filming on the front camera now. And as you can see, the background in the um, new phone is really, really clear. You can real get a definition of the light, but the light really fades and blurs on the 10X S Max. So you get a really like faded rubbish picture. Um, yeah, such a big difference. So here's a really great comparison. So obviously you have the iPhone XS Max, which is showing Ziggy in quite a low light, but then the new 12 Pro, you can see a lot more detail of Ziggy. Ziggy's always really hard to photograph because he is a black cat. So it's always really tough for me to get good footage of him. So this is gonna make such a big difference, isn't it, Puss? Okay, so let's talk about these phones. So I've only had them in my hands for a short amount of time and I can definitely feel that this phone is way more superior to this one. But generally speaking, there isn't a huge amount of difference. From a feel and perspective of playing around with them, the general feel of the phones is very similar, but where it matters is the camera and the video quality. So as you can see from the shots that I've taken, there is a huge, huge step up. Now, if you're like me and you never got the iPhone 11 Pro, um, you may wanna consider getting that one because obviously it'll be cheaper than the new one, but actually, is it worth it? Probably not. You may as well just go in and get the latest, newest, beautiful model, um, which is the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Love the cameras on the back, they just look so good in comparison to my old one and so much more professional. Really do love it. Let me know what you guys think. Have you guys gone and bought yourself the new iPhone this year? Are you holding out for next year? Or, you know, are you happy with what you've got? Let me know in the comments below. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this kind of quick little video. Uh, please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos from me. All the details are below for the Coconut Lane accessories. But for me for now, that is everything. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Take care guys. Bye.